Hey YouTube, this is Robin with Bout That RV Life and today I'm gonna tell you a little story. Camping season is coming up and as you know, we have three trailers that we haul around all over central Washington, deliver to different campgrounds. We love the gorge, take them out to the gorge all the time and it's a very busy season for us and the thing that we're looking at is weekends where we have all three of our trailers heading out. That sounds like a good problem to have for sure, but when you only have one tow vehicle, sometimes we gotta make some changes. <laughs> if you know me in real life, you know that I drive a minivan and I love my minivan. It's spacious, it carries all my people, it's got lots of cargo space, and it's a little bit luxurious. It has nice heated seats, it's got backup cameras, it's got all the things that I love about these more modern vehicles. So when my husband came to me a few months ago and said, hey, I think we might need to look at getting a second tow vehicle in the spring. I'm thinking about trading in the van. I was like, um, you know, I love my van, right? And my initial answer was no way, Jose. But because I've come to understand that usually he's right about these things, I took some time to really think about it. And last week while I was in town getting my minivan serviced, I walked over to the neighboring dealership and took a look at what they had on the lot. There were a few items that we absolutely needed to have in order for this to make sense for our family. The first thing is that it had to be a family vehicle. It had to be able to seat all of my people so that we could go on all of our adventures whenever we wanted to go and we could take everybody without worrying whether or not there was enough space. The second thing and really the most important thing was that it had to be able to handle all three of our travel trailers. And that meant that we needed something that could at least tow 8,000 to 9,000 pounds. I don't know if you know this, but there aren't very many SUVs on the market that can do that. The last thing I was looking for was something that was gonna be at least as nice as my minivan. It needed to have the heated seats. It needed to have remote start. I wanted keyless entry. And these are all frivolous, luxurious things that no one actually needs. But if I was gonna trade in my minivan, which I really enjoyed driving and it made doing my daily life more comfortable and more enjoyable, I wanted to have those things. So what we found was the 2021 Ford Expedition. And you guys, this thing is beautiful and I love it. But let me tell you why we went with brand new. We wanted to look at something that was gonna be within our price range. Maybe we would trade over just straight across and it wouldn't be any difference in our monthly budget. But we looked at the 2017, the 2018, the 2019, the 2020, and none of them had the towing capacity that we needed. So in 2021, Ford added a max tow package to the Expedition and that brought its tow capacity up to 9,300 pounds. It just happened that the new one was the only thing that was going to work for us. So with no further ado, let me introduce you to our new tow vehicle. This is our 2021 Ford Expedition Max with the Max Tow Package. It can pull 9,300 pounds. It is in the color antimatter blue. So in this lighting, we were trying to find a nice bright day to make this video for you guys. but. In this lighting, it looks almost black. Um, and if the sun was shining nice and bright on it, you would see that it has beautiful metallic flecks in it that make it just look stunning. Here we are inside the expedition and I'm just gonna show you some of my favorite features. So in here we have the towing apps that Ford has and I have driven one other vehicle that was a Ford that had the towing apps and what's really great about it, I don't have a trailer uh, hooked up so it's not going to walk us through everything, but one of the great things is that it has a connection checklist that will walk you through all of the different things. So do you have this connected and locked? Yes I do. Is the electrical wiring connected? Yep it sure is. Are the lights functioning correctly? Yep. Are the safety chains connected? the tongue jack raised, are the mirrors adjusted, you have your gain setting, and then is the trailer disconnected once you get to the end of your end of your situation. It also has trailer setup, it has uh, trailer light status, so if the trailer was connected it would check all of the lights for us. 
if it had the trailer connected, it would also register which trailer it was so that I can keep track of specific information about that trailer and also towing status if I had a trailer connected. Again, I do not, and so I'm only getting to show you some of the things, but this is one of my favorite features about the Ford with the tow package. Another thing I love is this smart screen. It is a touch screen. It has XM radio. We can connect a phone either Bluetooth or my favorite right here through the USB ports so that um, I can have all of my iPhone apps on there and use it with my Apple CarPlay. I really enjoy this feature. It's one of my favorite things. It also has, as you can see, the wireless charging pad. And so that's cool for if we've got multiple phones in here needing to charge them. They've started putting in this uh, USB-C port on the new, newer vehicles now too, which is cool because a lot of Apple products are moving to that and maybe other products as well, but we're Apple people, so I don't know. Another neat towing feature on this rig is the trailer backup assist. And theoretically speaking, this would help you in the event that you are backing a trailer and you want it to go a certain direction. You turn the knob either direction and you have to calibrate this in order for it to work. You have to turn it on in order for it to work. Um, but we do not have a trailer that is actually gonna work with it. From what I understand, this is designed for uh, more like towing trailers rather or hauling trailers rather than uh, travel trailers and so we probably won't even use this feature um, but maybe you know something I don't know and you want to tell me all about it so let us know in the comments and the very last but not least interior feature that you know I'm excited about is my heated and vented seats and my heated steering wheel and while these things are not necessary for a tow vehicle they were on my checklist of things that I needed and so I'm super excited that I have them and they work well. Well, there you go guys, that's the 2021 Expedition. The last thing I'm gonna tell you about is the Ford app that comes along with it. And the thing that is so cool about this app, I'm just blown away by how far technology has come. You can set your car to start on a schedule. So if I have a delivery to make or I'm getting ready to go to work, whatever it is that I'm doing, I know what time I need to leave. I can set the car to start 10 minutes beforehand so it's nice and warm and ready for me to get in and be all comfortable. Again, this is a luxury feature. It is not something we needed in a tow vehicle, but it's really nice to have. Well, thanks for watching guys. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Leave us some comments in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. And until next time, happy camping.